Hey, what's up, everybody? We're gonna do a little real comparison this evening between the Royal Legend Elite 811 and the Crixus Armor X. We'll start out with the Crixus Armor X, which comes in at a 7 2 to 1 gear ratio, which, you know, nice multi purpose gear ratio. You won't move it on, use it on moving baits like spinner bait, chatter bait, square wheel, whatever. Use it on worms too. You know, it's up to you. Anyway, it comes in at 6.8 ounces. It's an aluminum frame, it's got an alloy aluminum main gear with brass pinion gears, which is real nice. You know, it adds a little bit of strength and durability to it. It's got 9 plus 1 stainless steel ball bearings, which, you know, smoothing the reel out. What else we talk about here? It's got the 8 magnet system with the 10 external. It has a smooth edge to it, I don't know if you can notice that. But if you want to open up the side to get into the spool for any reason, you just flip that little lever. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it on closed. Now it's on open. A little quarter turn to the left, and it's off. Now it is a completely detachable, which some people like, some people don't like. I prefer the gold wing style, it's on the Roll Legend Elite, that we'll see in a little bit. But as far as we go with it, we talked about the adjustments. Favorite part of the Crixus is it's got a click stop. There's no smooth turn in it. There's no accidentally turn it. You've got to apply sufficient pressure to it to get it past the click to change it. And it makes it feel like a higher end reel. You know, it makes it feel nicer with the click, especially being an audible click like that. What else we got? What else we got? All right. So it's pushing out 17.6 pounds of drag force with a four disc drag system which is extremely smooth, it's not jumpy, it's not, you know, snappy when, when, when it wants to come out and just come out in spurts. It's a smooth pull to the drag. I got to test it out on almost a six pound fish. I think it was like five, seven, eight, or something like that on Pickwick for the Super Tournament last year in our BFLs. And I uh, hooked her, you know, on a full length cast. I mean, I made two walks with the top dog and she hit it like a tarpon and took off and it was all smooth drag from there till I tired her out and got her into the boat. A very nice fish, you know, like first fish of the day, fourth cast. It worked out well, but it set me up for failure because I was expecting the rest of the day to be like that, and I don't think I'd have caught another fish till like two o'clock. It just bees like that sometimes. So, what else we can talk about is it's got the shark skin EVA, polymer, slip resistant, water wicking super duper awesome grips you know i don't know what else to call them i love them they're very comfortable they're slip resistant like they say and it's really hard to beat them you know besides the little conical shape of them which really isn't that bad either I, you know i can't really think of anything to complain about them but i don't know it is what it is it does have a 110 yard capacity spool with 50 pound braid which is what I like to use. You can use what you want, but 50 pound is all purpose for me. I can use it for everything. Fish a line shy, I can put a leader on. If they're not, I'll throw braid. And at the end of the season, I can flip it around and use it again. I ain't got to swap for a carbon every other tournament, you know? Another uh, real cool thing about the Crixus Armor X is it has a lubrication port right there. All you gotta do is take a flathead, unscrew that, screw and you've got straight access to your main gear to put grease in so comes in handy especially out of town if it's feeling funky which doesn't have felt funky but i like to you know add a little dab here and there every now and then with mine not to get it too gummed up but if it feels like it's a little sluggish i add a little bit you know i mean it's better than having to disassemble the whole thing and deal with all the small pieces and the springs and all the other bullshit so let's see what else we got here I think that's about everything I can talk about on the Crixus Armor X as far as the specs. You know, it's a great reel. It feels good. It's slightly bigger than the Royal Legend Elite. But we're going to talk about the Royal Legend Elite now, and we'll stack them up afterwards. And I'll give you some more spec information. So the spec information on the Royal Legend Elite, this is the 811. Like, you know, I said earlier, it takes in 30.7 inches per turn, which is freaking burning. So, you know, you need to get a bait in in a hurry right there which 
the Crixus ain't really that slow either, you know, it's 721, it pulls in 29.8 inches per turn. So, I mean, eh, full inch less, but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, because you can always slow down. You can only speed up so much with, you know, the gear ratio you're given. So, the Royal Legend Elite comes in at 7.2 ounces per reel, you know. It's a little heavier reel, but it compensates with the size of it. It's a very good palm perfect sized reel and the added a little bit of weight it has to it like 0.4 ounces you know it's not noticeable the way it fits in your palm you would never think about it now I fished with them for 12 hours straight and not noticed it does have a graphite frame instead of an aluminum one graphite instead of aluminum like the Crixus does but it's a very sturdy graphite frame it's not like a lot of other graphite frame reels that I've used that likes to flex I mean, I've set the hook on 8-pound bass with this specific reel, and I've set it on, like, 200-pound stumps that I thought were 10-pound bass, but, you know, it is what it is sometimes, but it's not a flexible reel. It's a very sturdy reel. It also comes with the aluminum alloy main gear and the uh, brass pinion and worm gear, like the Crixus does. There's a lot of similarities between the two reels, and it's really going to be hard to pick a definite winner. I mean, it's probably going to end in a tie, to be honest with you. But the Royal Legend Elite does come with 11.1, 11.1, 11 plus 1 stainless steel ball bearings, and it's a very smooth reel, and also another thing, both of them come with double bearing supported pinion gears, so both of them are very smooth on the load, you know, you're reeling in an 8 pound bass, or you hooked onto a branch and managed to break it off and you're reeling it in, it's smooth, it's not, it doesn't feel like you're grinding your gears trying to get whatever you got in. But uh, another thing it does come with is five magnets. You know. Five magnets ain't a bad thing because it handles it great. I can cast all the way to my back and it's a 130 yard capacity spool. But this is the gold wing style that I was talking about a second ago. You see how smooth and flat it lays? I mean, you know, you put it in your palm, it lays perfect in your palm. But for you to take it apart, it's just as simple as this. And it's spring loaded, so watch it now. See? And that's it. Make a spin. You ain't got to worry about it going nowhere. You do have to hold the spool, though. It will go somewhere. But, I mean, the only reason you need to open it is if you're going, you know, grease your bearing or something like that. Because there's no internal uh, adjustments. What else we got on it? One thing that I said, you know, it's not that I don't like it, but I prefer the click stop knob like the Crixus has. It has a smooth turn knob, you know, it just turns. And I like mine really, really loose for skipping and flipping, which is mainly, excuse me, which is mainly what I do. So with it being as loose as it is, I have knocked a few caps off, not thinking about it, and just doing this here or there, and a cap fall off and land on the deck. I'm like, oh. But it comes in at the same amount of drag as the Crixus does at 17.6. But it has the three disc system, which is still just as smooth. There's nothing wrong with this drag system at all. I really can't think of a fish that pulled drag on me. And I've caught some fairly decent ones the past two seasons. But it's, it, you know, it's not slacking in any area. It does have a rubber handle now, but I will say it is slack in there because I would rather the EVA grips on this thing because it would look great with some black EVA grips with some red accents. But, you know, that's just me. You know, Gas King listens to it, I don't know. Also, grease ports on every reel would be awesome. If possible. Oh shit, look, see? That knock the smooth turn reel uh, knob off. I didn't even realize it. Alright, so the Royal Legend Elite does come in with 130 yard spool capacity, which I mean, you know, throwing half ounce jigs and three quarter ounce jigs and big Carolina rigs and three quarter ounce rattle traps, you can throw it to the back and these reels can sling it. Every season of the BFLs, I've had boaters ask me, you know, what kind of reels are those? How are you, what, are you throwing a brick out there? Because, you know, you're throwing 10, 15 yards past them, and 10 to 15 doesn't sound a lot. But if you look at 10 or 15 yards, it can make complete difference between throwing it across the school 
and landing short of a school, and it makes the difference. But, you know, that's about all I got for you on the spec information. Both reels, I love them personally. I've got three of these, I've got two of these, and I've had these since they came out, and I've had these for the last three years. And I've gave them both hill, they've both stood up. I can't complain about any of them. You know, $89.99, get my hand out the way. These fingers to work. $89.99, $79.99. It's hard to beat reels at that price. Which me, coming from Abu Garcia, and I always use Revo, STXs, and Premieres, you know, they are amazingly great reels for $300. These are damn near comparable for $80. It's hard to beat the bank for your buck with these things. But, I don't know. This is the first comparison I've done. I know we don't have a clear winner where I'm going to say I prefer this one over that one because they both have their high points. And neither one really has low points. They just have stuff I prefer better than the other. But, you know, I'm going to keep using them until they break on me. Anyway, y'all can decide for y'all self. I hope I did this right and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Have a good time. Later. Subscribe to the Cash King YouTube channel too. Learn new fishing tips and fishing hacks. Watch how-to fishing videos and fishing gear comparisons. See new Cash King fishing tackle reviews. Hear interviews with fishing personalities. Enjoy a constant flow of new content from the Cash King Pro Team. Don't miss announcements about these topics. Subscribe now to youtube.com forward slash casking. Click the subscribe button below.